We want to invite you to join the fight to help end Alzheimer's disease. And there's a really important walk coming up that we want to tell you about. Joining me this morning to talk a little bit about that is Shannon White. She is the chapter executive for the Alzheimer's Association of Greater Kentucky and Southern Indiana. We also have Andriana Marshall. She's with Shelby Farms Senior Living. Shannon, let's start first with you. Tell me if you would a little bit about this walk that's coming up here on October 15th. Well, we're so excited. It'll be October 15th at Slugger Field. We expect 2,000 people and 250 teams. And it's really just, we want to invite the community to come and wrap your arms around all of our families that have just been through so much living with Alzheimer's or dementia. Andriana, talk a little bit about your experience. It's remarkable when you think about the scope of how many folks Alzheimer's disease impacts. We're talking about 6 million Americans living with Alzheimer's. And it not only affects those diagnosed, but the families as well. And you had two, not one, but two grandparents diagnosed. Tell me about the impact that it creates on everybody. Yes, yeah, so both of my grandparents on my dad's side both had Alzheimer's, um, and that is actually how I then got into senior living. Both of them were living out of state, and so I didn't get to see them as much as I wanted to. Um, so I kind of adopted the Louisville seniors when I became a caregiver and really stuck with that passion because it affected our family in such a way where you you look at things that happened and you connect dots and go oh that was probably part of the disease process that was probably a hint a red flag that we missed and it is not something that just affected my grandfather at first it was his wife watching it happen and then she was diagnosed and then they both had all these situations and it was just heartbreaking to see the the disease take effect on them and then how it impacted our whole family and it impacted my future and how i got into senior living and looking at your face, I can tell it still impacts you. And I, I understand that. My grandpa Joe, um, I lost my grandpa Joe to Alzheimer's disease. He lived with us for a number of years before he passed away. And it is so, so difficult. Um, Shannon, talk about what the money raised is going to do, especially for folks living with this in Kentucky. Right. Well, that's why our organization is so important, because we really try to support families and the person living with Alzheimer's. So we have support groups, we have education programs, we have a 24-7 hotline that people can call day or night. But the money raised at the walk will go to research and for those support groups and education programs all across Kentucky and Southern Indiana. Really important work. Okay, yes. so we're looking at some footage. It looks like it's a good time. It too. is. It's it going to be at Slugger Field October 15th? It, it is. And it starts at 9 mm -hmm. and then the walk will kick off around 10. And what's so um, amazing about the walk is we like to refer to it as our largest support group because you are there with families who get it. You just make eye contact and you don't have to explain to people why you're there and what you're doing. And it's a great way to honor or have someone remembered in memory that has died from Alzheimer's or other dementia. If I want to get tickets, how much are they and where do I need to do that? It's free. Oh, you can show up, better. wear your purple, and help us support our families all across Kentucky and Southern Indiana. A lot of people look good in purple too. They do. So it's Such a, a great color. Yeah. <laughs> all right, ladies, thank you so much. Really Thanks important so much. work that you're both doing. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, back to you.